Ah, good day, every one of you people watching. So it's a bright, shining, shimmering morning. And um, I'm gonna go feed the puppies and the mama. And then the puppies are getting a bath today because, well, they're stinky, but two, yesterday I saw that they have ticks on them still. So I had to order a tick remover because I couldn't find the one that I normally have. I got like this three pack tick remover because I don't want to do it with my hands because the ticks are very small. It's like so difficult to like pull a tick off and remove its head at the same time. So anyways, we got our tick removers and we're gonna give them a nice fresh bath, but let's go feed them first. Well, good morning, mother. How are you in the bee? Oh, I can already tell they're hungry. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, good morning, everybody. Who is hungry for some breakfast? Uh-oh, someone's trying to get out already. Oh, this is falling apart, I love that. Okay, well, yeah, let's um, let's not do that. Mother, what are you teaching them? I'm gonna get you guys some breakfast right now. Yes, get to eating. Get that breakfast. Get that breakfast in your belly. Go get it. Go on. They are eating so much now. I think I can honestly switch them to kibble very soon. I think they've advanced past the soft food and then the kibble will fill their bellies up much better. Oh my God, stop being so cute, seriously. I'm gonna rip those ticks off you. He has some on his face, but I wanna check the whole body too. But yeah, not the cutest. I mean, he is the cutest, but the ticks aren't the cutest. Look at her paw. She's growing some fur on some of her tips. Also the tail. Like the scab on the top fell off. Look at her, look at her wagging it. It looks wild, it looks real wild, but uh, it's doing much better. All right, well, we've got sweet Odie here in the sink. And as you can see, he has a couple ticks on his face. So we're gonna get those taken care of and then we're gonna give him a nice bath. I do wanna check and see if there are any within the fur, but I am gonna give him a Dawn bath. Yeah, I think, yep, there are some in here, like there, so, yep. Buddy, we're gonna take care of all this for you right now, don't worry. Get y'all cleaned up. Okay, I've already taken two, three off. Oh, here's another one. It's kind of hard because they're so little. basically just drowning them in a bowl of Dawn dish soap and water. I'm just gonna keep picking through his fur till we find all of them. Then I'll give him a Dawn bath, which will just kill all of them. Like kill if there's any eggs or anything. So I'm gonna go do that. So we're gonna continue with the puppy bath. So if you guys remember, Odie had the hole in his tail and it's fully sealed up and healing. He's in a real good spot. Buddy, you guys, I, this is, I've never had a time as much as this one where I'm like, I want this dog. Like I want to keep him. Like all my fosters, I'm like, you know, like I never really get like a too attached, but he is, oh my gosh, just the best, most chill little guy. Like as I'm taking ticks off of him, he's just like, yeah, go for it. And he's just so chill, just waiting so patiently, not being fussy at all. Just letting me do what I need to do to help him. He's so good, oh my God. If only I could have more puppies, I would have you forever. Thank you for the kisses. Oh my God, I love you so much, Odie. All right, I think I got 
the majority of the ticks off. I, I can't seem to find any. So I think I got them all. So we're gonna give him his bath now and hope that if there are any more, they'll die from the bath. So let's get into it. Such a good boy. You like the water? I'm gonna do his face last. Stop being so cute. Please, just stop it. Buddy. Oh, hold on. let's squeeze you some water off ya. Oh, here we go. Yes. Let's get you nice and dried up. Nice and cozy. Let's go cuddle on the couch, sir. So here is the aftermath of the ticks. Quite a few good ones in there, so you're all nice and fresh and clean, bud. Look at this clean little man. Hunter. She said, is that? Who is that? I want to know him. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. Hunter, go. He said, excuse me, miss. I'm having my day at the spa. Alrighty, Odie is, I think, pretty much tick free. I went through again after he was all dry and even when he was a little wet and I found a couple more. But yeah, looking nice and fresh. Let's put him in this area with the new pads. There you go. Oh my God, he looks so fluffy. Oh my gosh. You're perfectly clean. All good. Let me do your sister now. All right, come here, coconut. It's your turn for your bath. Are you ready for the spa? I haven't really seen many ticks on her, so that's a good sign. Let's see though. Okay, this coconut is in the sink. So her tail definitely, it looks wild, but that's just because the scab fell off. So it's like kind of re-scabbing. From the side, it looks fine. It's just, you know, it's gone through a lot of trauma. So it's, the body is trying to heal. I did see that she did have one tick. I'm gonna have to try and get, but I'm sure there's a couple on there, but she definitely has way, way less than he did. So that is a great sign. And then Miss Mama, how's your claw doing? So much better. Obviously it looks scary still, but you guys, she's come a long way with that. Miss Coconut is done with her bath. She actually had like more ticks on her underside, which was much different from him. He had a lot on his face. She had a couple on her face, but majority of hers were like under her armpits or just on her belly. So that was very interesting. And hers were much smaller. Like they were not feeding as much. I think she's all clean. Let's get her back with her brother. Okay, the siblings are reunited. I put her medicine on her foot and her tail. But now I've cleaned this out and I have to give mother her bath now to get the ticks off of her too, because I'm sure she has some still. So let's go outside and let's give you a bath, even though you're gonna hate it. Okay, so I think Milky, she just like loves to be loved at this point. My hair's wild today. Sorry that it's like so in my face, by the way. So she just thinks that she's being pet right now a little does she know she's actually on the verge of getting a bath but we're just gonna oh wow yeah she's got a couple here it's so hard to do this by myself and like film it so sorry you guys aren't really getting a close actually maybe i can nikki do you want to show them your eyelashes that you're getting your extensions she's three types like all in the same spot Alright, we got those ones, and then your face. It's so funny, isn't it, how like, the first day I get one of these dogs, 
I'm always so scared to like touch them. But then like a weekend, I'm like, bitch, move your ass around. It's so nice that she has white fur so I can like spot them so much easier. She really doesn't have as many as I was expecting. I mean, she obviously had more the first time, but she was deticked. Dirty ears. Disgusting. Oh my god, blackness. Guys, dirty, dirty ears. Sisterhood, have you ever heard of a Q-tip? Oh my gosh. I'm not really seeing any more ticks though. All right, girlfriend. I think you might be ready for your bath. Let's get you hosed down. All right, well, mother is nice and clean. She's just drying off a little. The babies are just drinking some water and they're nice and fluffy. Oh, hi. What do you need? Do you feel nice and refreshed and tick free? Oh, they're still hungry. They're hungry for mother's milks. She's the best mother. Yeah. Oh, it has been quite exhausting. You know, I, I tend to forget how much work actually goes into fostering. Even though it's just two puppies and a mom, I still have my dogs and it's a lot. It's a lot of animals. And I'm like, by the time I'm done with my morning of just like getting them all situated, fed and, you know, cleaned up. I'm like exhausted, especially like bath day. Like I'm just, I've been like struggling to do anything else in my day. Like I've really let my gaming channel flop and I've been like trying to get motivated to get back into gaming. And then like Instagram, I'm just like so inactive, like on my socials and I'm just like so exhausted. And it, I, I don't say it's just the animal stuff because I think it's just a mental block in my head where I'm just so unmotivated right now. And maybe it's just like, for so many years I've done so many things. Like the fact that I've had like, what, three to four channels consistently going, it's like, I don't know, I feel like I've just, I'm just in a bit of a rut where I just can't balance everything. And so, I don't know, do you guys have any advice for getting re-motivated for things? Because I could, I could really use some advice on that right now because I'm struggling a little bit. This channel, I have so much fun with it. So it's easy for me because it's just like, I'm just recording what's going on in my life, but sometimes I don't really feel like recording. Anyways, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end the night here. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, try to get more motivated to get shit done because I feel like I can only do one thing a day. And I need to do multiple things in a day. That's it for today. I love you guys. Until next time. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.